Hi there, Roger Burnley Vocal Coach here. Welcome to Roger Burnley Voice Studio and this video. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to give you a vocal tip and then I'm also going to give you a little reality check as I call it. First of all, um, if you have been following a lot of my videos, you know that I spend a great deal of time focusing on getting you to not use your swallowing muscles. I've, I've gotten, uh, I've received um, messages from people saying, why do you talk about that so much? So I want to I want to explain that. The reason that I talk about it so much is because it's one of the main things that I had to correct in my singing, which is really what got me into vocal coaching in the first place. Um, what used to happen for me, I used to perform all the time. I was doing show after show after show. And what I discovered was over a period of time, I would be hoarse. My voice would be gone. I would know that if I did a show, then the next day, my voice was completely gone and I would need some recovery time. So I thought, this is crazy. I am not going to be able to tour and do show after show or a couple of shows a day with this problem going on. So what I did was I went to so many different vocal coaches trying to figure out the answer. And then it dawned on me. I started to, I got with a coach who explained that one little element, but then I went on a journey. I started researching this. I went to doctors, uh, um, ear, notes, ear, nose, and throat doctor to really start to understand this. So that's why I focus on this. Everyone that I've worked with who has a problem with reaching more range, with sustaining their tones, with power, whatever it might be, it's because on some level, somewhere, they're using these swallowing muscles a little bit. So let's get in touch with that. The one thing I want you to do is place your thumb under here, under your jaw, so you can feel where the muscles are. A lot of people sometimes have trouble getting in touch with this, but first try to swallow. Hmm, just really do a swallow and you should feel these muscles come down. That's what we're talking about. Now, the purpose of those muscles is to, what they do is they move your larynx, your voice box, out of the way when you're eating. It also triggers a bit of little acid reflux that you need in your stomach. I mean, a, little, a gastro um, acid, I should say, which is what you use in your stomach to digest your food. We don't want that coming up when you're singing. This is why so many people who are having vocal problems also find that they are having acid reflux. They will go to doctors and, and the doctor will say, oh, you have acid reflux and that's your problem. Well, it's like which came first, the chicken or the egg. Actually, you're having the acid reflux or having more of it because you are in using these muscles. Now, I'm just gonna give you a little simple thing here that you can do. It's not even an exercise. It's something that you can just start to practice on your own. So what you're going to do, because a lot of times what happens is over the years, you have developed this habit of things kind of falling back in your throat and using these muscles simply in your speaking. It may not necessarily be in when you're singing, but it will show up in your singing if you've developed this habit. So we want to start to change that. So all you're going to do, you don't even need to like, like I said, have an exercise or anything that you're doing. Just sit and place your thumb under your jaw and just start to talk. Just start to read something, start to feel what's going on. You will start to see that as you're speaking, there are certain places where you're pronouncing a word where, huh, these muscles are coming down. That's what we want to start to change. Now, what you're going to then do when you feel that happening, then pronounce your word a bit more. You may need to do this little face, especially if you've been doing this habit for a long time. You may need to do this. You, you know, I use my weird faces a lot, but you may need to do that just so you can feel how you can get the sound out without these muscles coming down. Just sitting and doing that over and over again, what happens is your body starts to form a new memory. It starts to release these muscles a bit more. And you will find that then when you go to start singing, that's gonna show up 
in your singing as well. So that's just a little bit of what I wanted to show you on that. So just play around with it and you'll start to notice again that you're speaking. Your voice will be much more present. You will hear what I call your sound staying in the mask of your face up here. That's the natural place that we want it to be. There's no reason that your voice needs to age or drop dramatically the older you get if you develop really good techniques. Okay, now the second part of this is a little reality check. Um, a lot of you know I've put so much free information on the internet and I love doing it because I want to give back, I want to help people and all of that. I've created online programs. Many of you know that I have online programs that you can use from wherever you are. But the danger in that sometimes might be you thinking this will take you really all the way. I know that my programs will absolutely get you in such a great, great place in your voice. But if you're still having certain issues, and I'm bringing this up because I keep receiving questions and people wanting me to like correct what's going on with them when I haven't even seen them, <laughs> when I don't even know what they're doing, you see? So I just want you to understand that, yes, all of my programs are gonna get you into a really, really great place. None of this and none of the stuff that you're finding on the internet from any coach is gonna ultimately get you to be the best singer you could possibly be. So you have to figure out what is your goal. I spent a whole lot of money learning what I know over time. I never, never expected I was gonna get all of it for free. I know there's so much that you can get that way, but just realize if you want to be really brilliant, then you're going to have to go to the next level and get with a really great vocal coach who can help you. So I just want you to understand that uh, because I think it's a, it's a little, we have so much technology now with YouTube and I think that the other problem that happens, most of you think that if you don't have everything right now, that you can't develop it. That's so not true. You can be the best singer you want to be if you get the right direction. I cannot emphasize that enough. And the other problem is that most of the stars never talk about the fact that they've gotten vocal training. And that drives me a little nuts as well. They have so many of them that you don't know about it they have gotten vocal training, sometimes because they were having problems or sometimes because they just wanted to be great. So you just have to decide what is right for you. So I'm so glad to share this video with you and I will see you real soon.